Let's Play Never Have I Ever Sideline Edition. Dun, dun, dun. Never Have I Ever had a player swear in an interview with me on TV. That was an XFL beauty this year. Oh, it was. <laughs> and it was one of those when he did it because we're so trained of like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. I, I, I froze. I didn't know what to do. I was like, he cursed. But it was a great moment. What it was, was the word without saying it? No, you can say it. We'll bleep it. Oh. That's no, what it was? It. No, I just wanted a long beep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Next one up. Never have I ever been hit by a ball on the sidelines. No Man, one else? Melissa, Melissa Stark got nailed, though, at that London game. And she took it like the boss queen that she is on the sideline this year. Do y'all remember seeing that? I do. My friend PFT commenters always said, well, he's our, all of our friends, um, says every week I should try to get hit. He's like, you'll, you'll go viral. Yeah, you will. Ex point. Except for, for when I had it. I, so as a soccer sideline reporter, I had my notes in one hand and the soccer ball was coming to me and I just thought I would, I just thought I would catch like it swatted. like this. Oh, I just thought I would. <laughs> and yeah. it hit me right in the head and Kaka, like one of the greatest players of all time. I just remember him looking at me and just laughing, like could not stop laughing. And it's it just, so it right didn't play out the way you thought it would. In other words, you thought it was going to be this heroic highlight. Really no, I did not. I did not know what was going to happen. Whenever that soccer ball came near me, I was like, somebody else want to deal with this right now? Never have I ever had a coach yell at me on the sideline. Oh. That's, That's like part All right, of story time. Anyone? Yeah. No? Just par for the course. Mike, to Mike Tomlin told me, to get the hell away from the huddle because I was trying to like, I was doing ESPN radio sidelines and I was being really snoopy and he just locked eyes with me and those are scary eyes. And I was like, ah, and I just ran away. Mine was, this is, I was, I had two games for CBS two years ago and not only did weather cause me to miss Andrew Luck's first meeting with the production crew since he'd come back and it was Frank Reich's first year but so then at that point, I'd only had the Bengals. So I'd, I'd obviously been with Marvin Lewis and Andy Dalton and them. And then I, so I was already a little discombobulated. I'm like, oh, I've got to step my game up, you know, first game for CBS. I then attempt to get Frank Reich leaving, going into the locker room and security straight blocked me. So not only did I not make the production meeting, but I also didn't get the coach heading into the locker room. And it was a complete cluster coming out. It was not the greatest debut uh, for a two-game CBS That's assignment. But, yes, spot. I absolutely got yelled at by the security guard <laughs> uh, in that one, too. But also, I think that day, by the coaches for getting too close to the huddle. Hey, that's all it is. It's always too close. Bruce Arena, ream me out as well, but for just because we were late on the broadcast. Never have I ever been on camera and not known I was. Oh. Did you watch the XFL? I was in every shot. I had to have a meeting with the executive producer to be like, uh, you need to be more aware. You're on in every shot of the field. I was like, you knew you were on camera. You no, knew. No, here's how I know. Because if you look at the shot, I look ridiculous. Like, if I knew, I would have been like, you know, I wasn't doing I that. Like, you side, see yeah. me. I mean, like, like, full, like, man face mode. It, was, it wasn't good. It wasn't good.